So in this first example of calculating a centroid, we're going to consider a body, and I'll draw this body now, just drawing it freehand. So it's shaped like this. But we can quickly see that this body is a, could be broken down into a rectangle and a triangle. And we wish to know where the centroid of this total body is. So we have put some dimensions in here and let's put some real numbers so this is five meters we have some x dimensions too so we know that this distance here is going to be six meters and this distance here is going to be four meters and what we'd like to find out is where is the centroid of this composite body and in the y direction, the coordinate is going to be called y bar c. And in the x direction, the coordinate is going to be called x bar c. And in the last video, we developed a formula for doing that in the x direction, y direction. I'm just going to quickly write that down. What we have x bar for the composite equals x bar for the rectangle multiplied by the area of the rectangle plus x bar for the triangle multiplied by the area of the triangle all divided by the total area of the composite which is the area of the rectangle plus the area of the triangle so what we need to do first is in this formula is we need to identify all the known quantities all of these distances x bar so for x bar square and that's, which would be here would be three meters in this distance and we'll work out what the area of the rectangle is too so let's quickly calculate the areas that we have involved so Calculate the areas. So the area of the rectangular part is equal to H, the height of the entire composite, multiplied by B1. So H was equal to 5. B1 is equal to 6 meters, so that equals 30 meters squared. Likewise for the triangle, so the area of the triangle now is one half of the height times the width. So the height is again 5 meters, and the width of the triangle is 4 meters. So the value inside the bracket is 20, half of 20 equals 10 meters squared. And finally, we can also calculate the area of the entire body. So the area of the composite body equals the area of the rectangle plus the area of the triangle, which equals 30 plus 10 is 40 meters squared now we're going to identify the lever arms or the distances to the centroids of the individual bodies of so the rectangle and the triangle so identify lever arms and What's important to note here is where we're going to take moments from. So for convenience, I'm choosing to take it from this bo bottom left hand corner, uh, which I'm going to make the origin of my coordinate system. So for the rectangle, so x bar of the rectangle equals half of the width along the bottom and the width along the bottom was six meters so that equals three meters along 
and the x bar for the triangle is equal to uh, let's have a look at our drawing again so we have if we're measuring all the way from this bottom left hand corner of the composite we have six meters plus this distance here which is one third times four meters so don't forget that we're measuring all the way back to the origin of the coordinate system so we're going taking moments from one consistent location so x bar of the triangle then is equal to the width of the rectangle plus one third times the width of the triangle and that equals 7.33 and that's reoccurring meters and so now we can finally go on to calculate what the centroid of the composite body is now we know all the unknown quantities in our formula for that so let me just it's gonna be all the way under let's just go there okay so for the x centroid coordinate so our formula was the x distance to the centroid from our origin at the bottom left hand corner is equal to x bar of the rectangle multiplied by the area of the rectangle plus x bar of the triangle multiplied by the area of the triangle all divided by the total area of the composite which is the area of the rectangle plus the area of the triangle and now we can substitute the numbers we've just calculated in there so x bar for the rectangle was 3 multiplied by the area of the rectangle which was 30 meters squared plus we have the distance from the origin all the way to the centroid of the triangle which was 7.33 meters multiplied by the area of the triangle which was 10 meters squared and then divided by the total area of the composite body and if it helps don't need it because of the precedence of times over plus but if it helps put those ca calculations in brackets to remind yourself put these numbers into the calculator and we get that this x bar for the composite is 4.08 meters before we move on to doing the y direction it's always useful as a sanity check so we had 4.08 meters go back to our original drawing this was around about three meters so 4.08 meters is round about in the location we guessed in the first place just a little sanity check no mathematics involved just does it look right okay let's go on to the so centroid in the y direction and we have some unknown quantities left so we have the y bar the distance to the centroid of the rectangle is going to be one half times the height of the rectangle and the height was five meters so this distance is 2.5 meters and the distance from our coordinate axes so y bar triangle let's just remind ourselves we've got this bit as well but we were using this point here as our origin of our coordinate system and where we take our moments from and so the distance up is one third of the height so y triangle equals one third of the height which is five 
which is 5 upon 3 if you want to keep in fractions or 1.666 meters and now we're going to carry on to calculate the composite now we have all of the unknown values so y bar for the composite so this distance we've got there and there so somewhere here so this distance y bar c is equal to the distance of the centroid of the rectangle from the x-axis multiplied by the area of the rectangle plus the distance of the centroid of the triangle measured from the x-axis multiplied by the area of the triangle all divided by the total area so area of the rectangle plus area of the triangle so that gets us we have y bar for the rectangle was 2.5 meters multiplied by the area which was 30 plus our 5 upon 3 multiplied by the area of the triangle which was 10 meters squared divided by the total area which was 40 meters squared and gets us for our y bar equals 2.29 meters up from the bottom and again let's do that sandwich check so we have a rectangle and a triangle here was our x bar c what x bar rectangle and y bar of the rectangle similarly we had that we had a total area of 40 and a total area of 10 so we know that it's going to be weighted closer to the centroid of the rectangular section than the centroid of the triangular section and our coordinates of 4.08 and 2.29 do lie in the area where we expected it to be. So we can be reasonably confident that we've done our calculations correctly. So that was for an example with two composite bodies, but we can imagine we have general composites Where this composite body is made of lots of bits of material so not not just two now for simplicity i'm just going to draw them as rectangles so we could have body one body two body three body four don't know let's make that a triangle why not okay and so each one of these bodies now that could have x bar one x bar two so let's call that one two three four five and then we have an x bar three x bar for the fourth bit of area that we've identified and then down there one third of the way along we have x bar five and we could even imagine that we had lots of bodies so let's have a little bit of a gap and then i've got another shape in there and let's label this as n so it's the nth body that we know about and the lever arm to this body obviously we've missed a lot of room out so we do a little symbol like that to show that we've missed a lot out and this distance here is x bar n and so if we started to write the formula 
we would get that the x bar of our composite was equal to x bar 1 multiplied by the area of shape 1. And then I would go x bar 2 multiplied by the area of 2 plus x bar 3 multiplied by the area of 3. At this point I'm getting a little bit bored. So maybe I can jump a little bit and go x bar for the nth body multiplied by the area of the nth body. And underneath I want the total area of all the bodies. So that will be a1 plus a2. And the area a3. And then every bit of area a4, a5, a16, a17. Until I get to area n. And we can write this in a neater notation now. And we can say that x bar for a composite body is equal to the summation from 1 to n of x bar and let's call this so i equals 1 to n so the x bar of an i body so the first body the second body the third body multiplied by the area of the i body divided by the total area which is the summation of all of the areas from 1 to n so i equals 1 to n and this is a general formula that we can apply to all bodies uh, just for completeness i should say with that i equals 1 to n for the summation and in the next few tutorial problems in the notes we'll use this formula for calculating both the x coordinate and the y coordinate so the y coordinate almost identical that you get y bar of the composite equals the summation from i equals 1 to n And now, because it's in the y direction, we have the y bar of the individual bodies still multiplied by the area of the individual bodies. And the summation i equals 1 to n of the area of all of the bodies added together. And we're going to use these in the next couple of tutorial examples.